I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Geneva. I'm Christian Corbett. And I'm Owen Reynolds. Today, looking ahead to all of our Geneva sports teams who are in the playoffs. All that and so much more. Because GTV News starts right now. Here are your morning announcements for Tuesday, October 29th. Our Geneva athletes are all geared up and ready to hit the fields, the turf, and the track in the pool. And GTV's Addison Went is here to tell us all about it. Addison? Hey Geneva, welcome back to Sports Shield. We have a lot of teams to celebrate today, so let's kick it off with some soccer. The boys' soccer team advanced to the sectional semifinals and played tonight at 5 against Glenbard West at St. Charles North. After the team had a dominating win and kept their season alive, beating West Chicago 3-0 on Friday, the coach says it was one of the best showings yet. I think we're coming together and playing at the right, well at the right time. Um, I think we played our best soccer in the regional championship game against West Chicago. Senior Reese Leonard had a standout night, scoring two of the three Vikings goals. I believe that we will win! I believe that we will win! <laughs> the stands were filled in with white that CERN turned blue last Friday night. To celebrate Geneva's football, band, dance, and cheer team seniors, the Vikings took on the St. Charles North Stars, losing 21-35 to bring their record to 8-1. to Make sure to come out and support your Geneva Vikings this Saturday at 2 p.m. at home. They take on Munson in their first playoff game. Tickets are $7. They can be purchased at the gate the day of the game, and gates will open one hour before kickoff. And you can buy your playoff t-shirt for $10 during all lunch hours this week. The Geneva girls volleyball team has a big game tonight against West Aurora at home for the first round of regionals at 7 p.m. The girls' cross-country team will run sectionals at 1 p.m. at Lake Park this Saturday. Last Saturday's team competed at regionals. The girls' varsity was led by Sophia Border. The boys' cross-country team also ran at regionals last Saturday. They stepped up big time, getting sixth place, which qualifies them for sectionals. Congrats to Julian Hip, who placed 14th. They compete in sectionals at Lake Park starting at 2 p.m. on Saturday. The Geneva girls swim team won the Upstate 8 Conference with a lot of new PRs in first places. Sectionals will be November 9th at St. Charles East and seven girls from Geneva will be competing. There's an informational meeting for all boys interested in trying out for the varsity basketball team today from 3 to 3.15 p.m. in EE 190. See Coach Henning if you have any questions. And finally, there will be a bowling meeting on Wednesday, October 30th at 3 p.m. in the Athletic Conference Room. No experience is necessary. That's all the sports news we have for you today, Geneva. Good luck to our girls volleyball and boys soccer team tonight. Now back to you at the desk. Thanks, Addison. And if you're not a sports person, there is so much more that we have here at GHS that you can be a part of. GTV's Gian Escado is here to give us a quick look at some club meetings that are coming up. Gian? Size Club is meeting after school today for yearbook. Be there for the yearbook. Wait, Soccer Club is decorating for Halloween after school today in B124. Model UN is meeting after school in M1. Thanks, Gian. Key Club has a meeting tomorrow after school in room H219. And Educators Risings will be meeting today after school in EE 180 with a special guest speaker from Aurora University. There will be no meeting on Thursday, so you can go enjoy Halloween night. It may be the end of October, but this weather could fool you. It's a balmy high of 80 and a low of 66, so enjoy it. And taking a look into tomorrow's weather, it is going to be a cloudy with a high of 78 and a low of 65. 
Here's, Here's three to know, know before we go. If you're looking for a way to get supported through college, financial aid and scholarship night is November 20th. Meet at the GHS Auditorium from 6.30 to 8 p.m. The National Honor Society is holding a soup drive from Wednesday, October 30th to Friday, November 8th. Bring meal type soups by the main office or Mac Olson Gym. All soups will benefit the Shepherd's Food Pantry. In case you, any of you missed it, anyone in this year's fall play A Christmas Carol, make sure to submit your bio to the Geneva Theater Boosters email. The deadline is next Tuesday, November 4th. Well, that's all the news we have for you today, Geneva. Have a tubular Tuesday.